All right, this is a review of the MotoPower MP69033 scanning tool for ODB2. And the car is a 99 Mustang V6 five speed. Uh, the symptoms were that the car was rev hanging, i.e. you take your foot off the gas, it takes a long time for the engine RPMs to come down, such as when you're upshifting. Uh, and also there was some pinging, also known as detonation or pre-ignition. Um, I hooked up the scanner, I got a code P1131, it's P1131, which indicates a lean condition on cylinder bank 1. Cylinder bank 1 on the V6 is on the passenger side, and bank 2 is the driver's side. Um, so I'll show you where things are now. Uh, what I did was I replaced the, uh, so far I replaced the PCV valve grommets on both sides. There's one on each valve cover. Uh, with the intention of handling any vacuum leaks. I also did a smoke test. Uh, there's another video on YouTube where you use a cigar and a, and a fluid transfer pump. That worked great. Uh, filled up the intake with smoke from the cigar. Uh, no smoke leaked out visibly. It seems I don't have any other vacuum leaks, unless I'm missing any. But uh, anyway, the car seems to be running better. We'll see how it goes over the next few weeks. So I'm going to plug this in. The port is located... Uh, around where the top of your sock would be if your foot's on the gas. It's right about here. I don't see that. But uh, I'm going to... There's this. I can feel it. Gently plug this in. You're supposed to be easy with it so you don't bend any pins or anything. Okay, there we go. That's plugged in. And that powers up the scanner. All right. Oops. So I this to stay put here. All right. Nothing but world-class cinematography here. So I'm going to go into the settings and see if I can improve the contrast, because I was having some trouble with that in the bright sunlight, at least on camera. I mean, I could see it fine in person. I already switched the unit of measure to... Uh, English to get Fahrenheit versus Celsius on the temperatures. Let's see about the contrast here. Okay, let's go a little more. Oh, that's just worse. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's worse too. That's probably best with the default setting. Okay, that looks about good. Okay, so now we're out of that. Um, you have your diagnostic trouble codes lookup. You can also just look them up online, but that's pretty useful. You've got your... Oh yeah, it's not going to link to the vehicle because the ignition's off right now. I'll go ahead and turn the ignition on. Fail to connect. It's like make sure your ignition's on. The ignition's supposed to be off when you plug it in, by the way. Otherwise, it can damage either your car or the sensor, apparently. I was thinking of putting a P Touch label on this thing. Remember to turn off ignition before connecting. All right, so now it's there, it's connected. Car speed's going to be zero because we're just sitting here. Back. Okay, uh, here's the buttons if you want to see that. Uh, load value, load percent, that's the airflow at wide open throttle compared to the current airflow as a percentage with some other factors in there. Engine coolant temperature, car has been running, currently it's 165 Fahrenheit. Back, I'm going to stop showing buttons after this time. Engine RPM is going to be zero. The engine's off. Okay, you get the idea on the buttons. You basically, that up, down, okay, and and back is about all you need. Um, all right, so now let's go to onboard diagnostics. No codes. And. Uh, Read codes? No codes. Great. Uh, 
Let's see here. So you can erase the codes. You can view freeze frame. Freeze frame is uh, anytime the check engine light comes on, your computer in your car takes a snapshot of various parameters. That's a freeze frame. And then it stores that for diagnostics purposes. Uh, and then inspection and maintenance readiness. Since the diagnostic trouble codes were cleared, mill status, I'm going to define that in the contents. Uh, so these things are basically okay. INC, let's see what that means. Okay. All right. Various items here. Now, let's get into the meat and potatoes here. We'll exit this test. I'm going to start the engine. Okay, now this will get us into a few things. Put the engine on now. You can see the uh, load percentage if I step on the gas. It fluctuates. You can see it on the graph there. Okay. That's as expected. Engine coolant temperature is now going to be climbing as the car warms up. Yep, it's climbing. And engine RPM, yeah, it's just a tack. It's idling a little high. Get a graph. Okay, fine. Let's get out of here and get into the really juicy stuff, which is the real-time curve. Wait, no, that's not where it is. It's in the OD, OBD. Here we go. Uh, well, there's also, there's also vehicle uh, info, does it say? Turn key on with engine off. Okay, well, we're not going to do that right now. But, oh yeah, real time curve, we're just there. Data stream. Okay, here's the really juicy stuff. Uh, fuel system 2, NA, there's the load percentage again. You can see that moves with engine RPM or with throttle, throttle action. ETC, it should say engine, it should say ECT, engine coolant temperature, 185. Now this thing, SHRT FT1%, that's short term fuel trim on bank number one. So it is, uh, sorry. I'm trying to get my finger out of the frame too. So it is, uh, that's like how much fuel it's adding compared to what it would expect to, or subtracting compared to what it would expect to in the short term. So it's adding a little fuel right now, probably because the engine's not fully warmed up. And let's go to the next screen here. Long term fuel trim one is close to zero, which I understand is good because it shouldn't have to be adding or subtracting a lot of fuel compared to what it expects to do. I'm gonna switch hands here so I can get a better shot at this. There we go. And then uh, short term fuel trim on bank two. And then long term fuel trim on bank two looks like it's been subtracting a bit of fuel. Previously, the long term fuel trim was very high, it was running lean. I think that was because there was a vacuum leak at the uh, grommet on bank one, which is the passenger side that I just replaced. That's my theory. The car is running much better right now. It's not rev hanging so badly. The revs come down reasonably quickly. Like here's, here's 3,000 RPM here, and I'll take my foot off the gas. It comes down not super fast, but it's much better. Uh, fuel rail pressure, I don't have a sensor for that, it seems. Next screen. Uh, manifold absolute pressure, don't seem to have a sensor for that. There's the RPMs again. Speed, spark advance, which will vary with throttle blips. Intake air temperature sensor. It's 108 degrees. It's 90 degrees outside right now. The intake air temperature sensor is inside the air intake. The engine's pretty warm. I think that's probably accurate. 
uh, mass airflow sensor, mass airflow pounds per minute, about 0.66. If we rev it up, it's going to increase. Now it's flowing more air. Take a foot off the gas, comes back down. So it looks like the mass airflow sensor is, seems to be working. Throttle position sensor. There, I just blipped it. It jumped up to 25. It's a little slow. This isn't like a thousand dollar scanner, but it is still responding. So it is measuring data from the throttle position sensor. It appears to be measuring the throttle position. Air stat. Somebody, if, I think, oh, there we go. Upstream. So it says off, and then sometimes upstream and sometimes downstream. Please comment below if you can find that. I looked for about 15 minutes, couldn't find what that is online. Help us out. Um, I think it's air status, but I want to know more about that. Okay, now, this is interesting. So, uh, O2 sensor, bank one, sensor one, about a half a volt. Sensor two is showing zero. That's not good. It should be showing a little bit of voltage. I think between half a volt and one volt. Um, Yeah, oh, there we go, a little bit, 0 0.025. Okay, so I'm not sure about that O2 sensor. I'm gonna keep an eye on things. I'm actually gonna keep this scan tool in the car, in the center console, and then uh, if anything starts to act up, I can just connect it up and see what's going on right then from my parking spot. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye on that O2 sensor. That seems a little bit suspect to me. Let's go to the next page. Now it says bank three, O2, bank three, sensor one. There's no bank three, it's, a, it's there's two cylinder banks. But anyway, it looks like it's getting assigned to bank three. It must really be bank two. So these readings seem a little better. Uh, they do jump around a lot. Um, this thing doesn't refresh super fast. It's a $20 OBD2 scanner, but you know, if you wanna get a really expensive one, I'm sure you can see like, instantaneous tracking as these numbers change but um, anyway I'm thinking these sensors are probably okay and then let's see what the next page is here yeah then there's a bunch of stuff that's just not applicable it goes all the way to page 19 so that's basically it I'm gonna shut her down so yeah there's a walkthrough of uh, this motor power scanner tool and uh, I will put in the description uh, definitions for those couple of terms I didn't know what they were um, again there's no glossary in the instructions for this thing and I didn't see one on motor powers website either so you're kind of left on your own to like find out what these abbreviations mean it was all just gobbledygook to me but it started started to give me a more clear picture as I at least got a basic understanding of what they mean most of them and I'll finish getting the rest of them so uh, there you go. All, overall, for 20 bucks, I think this is a great scan tool. I mean, that's for the for the money. That's fantastic, I and mean, it's, it's it's giving me some feedback, giving me some peace of mind that certain things are working. And uh, yeah, the check, the check engine light was on and off for quite a while. Um, it's off now, apparently in response to me replacing that PCV valve grommet. That may have been the only major issue, but I will keep my eye on that one. Uh, <laughs> sensor that oxygen sensor because that reading looks a little suspect and uh, there you go enjoy hope that was helpful